Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to address when's the right time to start a medical tourism company. And the reason I want to discuss this topic today on camera is because the vast majority of people that I speak to in the medical tourism industry are entrepreneurs or people who want to be entrepreneurs or in the process of starting their companies or launching their companies. And a lot of times when I speak to people who are in the process of starting their companies, they really want to start it. They're passionate about medical tourism, but they'll say, hey, let me get back to you in two weeks. Let me get back to you in a week. I have some things in my personal life I have to figure out first, but I really want to do this business. And they really do want to do the business. But what you have to understand, guys, is when you're starting a business, there's never the right time and it's never going to feel like the right time. As an individual who started multiple businesses before, it never felt like the right time and it's never going to feel like the right time. You have to take the initiative. You have to dig deep inside of yourself and say, okay, I know it doesn't feel right, but I'm going to take the necessary steps or I'm going to take some steps to move forward right now in my business or to start this business. But I want to let you guys know your brain is always going to come up with some sort of excuse. Hey, this isn't right. I have to figure this out first. Let me do this and then I'll get back to it at a later date. Many of us have known people throughout our lives, whether it be family or friends who had these great business ideas and they put them off and they said, hey, I'm going to wait until the kids go off to college or I'm going to wait until I figure this thing out and then I'm going to start the business and it never end up happening. And that's sad because they probably meant well, they were probably really passionate about the idea, but they didn't take action. And when you don't take action and you delay for long periods of time, it's more than likely not going to happen or it's less likely to happen. So when you have a great idea, whether it's starting a medical tourism agency or starting any company for that matter, if you don't take action on it in a reasonable amount of time, it's less likely to happen. So if you're thinking about getting into medical tourism and you're really passionate about it and you want to help people and you know you can set up a great business, make sure you don't take a long time to act on it because it's going to be less likely to happen. And I've seen this happen so many times. I've actually seen people who contact me and they're excited about medical tourism and we talk about different plans and how they're going to set it up and what country they're going to send people to and hospitals they can connect with in that country. And they'll call me back a year later, six months months later and they're still on the fence and these people really want to do it but it's just something inside of them that they can't move forward on it and this is human nature right I, I think we all go through this and and like I said I've been through this myself when I started my businesses before it was never the right time and I always had something going on in my personal life it never fell but I always said you know what I really want to do this I'm gonna do this and I always took steps to go in that direction and it ended up working out but you have to have passion it's gonna take a little bit of courage as well but you can do it so I just want you to keep in mind, it's not going to feel comfortable when you first start your company or when you first start taking action, but you got to start taking those actions so you can get to the destination you want to get to. But thank you guys for watching this short video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any other questions, I'm going to leave my contact information below. Thanks.